Good morning and welcome here. I am thrilled because today we are going to Ikea. I have never actually been to an Ikea, so this is gonna be my first time. I know that's so hard to believe. But today I'm looking for a lot of organization items for our home, for our kitchen, as well as some smaller items. For the first part of this video, I'm going to take you guys along with me as we go shopping. And then we're gonna come back here and I will show you guys everything that I got. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed and then let's get started. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that I'm going to be offering a coupon code to use on my alphabet flashcards or my alphabet print. So stay tuned because I will be sharing that later on in this video. Okay, now let's go. You ready, buddy? This is what I was most excited for is this organization section. These jars are so cute, but I don't know what I would use them for. So many plates. Let's see if we can find some more neutral ones. Ooh, these ones are really pretty. I love the stone like speckled texture. Gold cutlery. Are we a fan? Let me know down below. I think it's really fun and beautiful. I always gravitate to baskets, but I do not need any more baskets. I remember I almost got these for the nursery though. I think they're so cute. I've had my eye out for a fruit bowl, but I don't think this one is big enough. This would be really pretty with some fresh flowers in it on a table. <laughs> Perfect. That's what we want. Hello, it is a few days later and I'm excited to finally share with you guys what I got at Ikea. I have my iced coffee to accompany me. I don't always have an afternoon coffee, but if I do, I've been enjoying putting collagen powder in. This is the brand I've been using, it's Organica, and I like it because it's tasteless, so you can add it to any beverage, you won't even taste it. And this is also from grass-fed livestock, and I think there's protein. Yeah, there's nine grams of protein per serving, so. I've been really enjoying this. Earlier in my video, I mentioned that I would be sharing a coupon code for my artwork. So I'm gonna share that with you guys now. If you use code LIFEJOY on either my alphabet flashcards or my alphabet prints, you will get 10% off your order. There's only five coupon codes. So whoever the first five people are to use it, you'll get the discount. The link is down in the description box you can click on and it will automatically be applied. So that's just a way for me to say thank you for supporting my channel, thank you for being here, and also for supporting my artwork and my journey with that. All right, let's get to the things that I got. So starting with this big bin, <laughs> this is actually a recycling bin, I think they market it as, but I really like it because this is the lid, so it's, it obviously comes off but then you can stack them on top of each other and then you can just open this section. So I have one already that I've been using for clothes that Danny has grown out of. So all of his newborn clothes, zero to three month clothing, even some like three to six month clothes are all in storage in one of these and it's full. I also store diapers that are too small. So I wanted to get another one to stack on top. And truthfully, I'll probably even get another one later on down the road. They're also great to put 
clothes that are too big in. I have another bin that are just, you know, from hand-me-downs or things that I just get on sale for Danny to grow into. So these are really great. And again, I like that they lift so that you don't have to like take the stack down to get something at the bottom. So then I did just get a few kitchen items. I got this wooden spoon. I think it was like $2 or something. I'm always looking for wooden spoons. I like to look for them at thrift stores. Um, but this one I think was only $2. Let's see, let me check my receipt. Yeah, it was $2. And I also really like this light wooden material. So got that. And then I also got these plastic plates. These were also really inexpensive. These are pretty popular. You've probably seen them before. They come in a pack of six. So I thought these would be great for when Danny gets a little bit older or also if we have kids over to our house. There's been multiple times where we've had a family from church or just friends over who have little kids and I don't have any like plastic plates for them to use. Usually moms <laughs> bring their own, but if they don't, then I want to be able to have some plates that we can use for them. They also have like bowls and cups and like forks and spoons. I didn't get those, I just got the plates. Those will be great and super, super inexpensive. And I got two pairs of these gloves. I got a dark green one and then also a light green one. I plan to use one for washing dishes. I like to wear gloves when I wash dishes because my hands get really dry as I am using water a lot. So that just protects my hands. I also like to use a pair when I am cleaning. So I'll put these in my cleaning basket and leave these ones under the sink. And then this one I'm really excited about. I've been looking for a while to get some sort of bin or tote to put flour in. So this one is food safe. It's a food container, comes with a lid. And then I also got some scoops. So this comes in a pack of two. So I'll leave probably the bigger one in here I'll just fill this with flour, leave the scoop in, and then that way it's just really easy to grab. With all the baking that I do, especially with baking bread, I go through so much flour. So it's nice to have a canister like this that's just easy to grab, put on the counter, and put back. I've actually just been keeping flour in the bag, and it just gets so messy because it's a really big bag, and then it kind of spews flour everywhere when I fold it down. So hopefully this will be cleaner and just better overall. And originally I was hoping to find one that's a little bit bigger, but I went ahead and got it because I do think this size will be good because it won't be too big and it will easily be stored in our cupboard. Okay, and then I think the last little item I got, there's still more, last little item were these scissors. They had a lot of this sage color green in stock. There were some candlesticks I saw that were really pretty. Just a really nice color for spring, and I think these were also $2, but I've been wanting to actually get a pair of kitchen scissors. We have like our meat shears, but having a pair of scissors that I can just leave in a drawer that I can use for just other things in the kitchen if I don't wanna use the meat ones. And I think that's it for this stuff, but I'm gonna take you guys over to the table where I have some more things that I am so excited about. So these jars have been something that have been on my list for a long time, my wish list of things to buy. I like to keep a wish list on my phone, just a running list of things that I see or things that I want to purchase. That way I am lowering impulse purchases because I'm kind of just keeping track of things that I want or things that we need, and then I can refer back to those. So if I want something, I'll put it on the list keep it there for a few months, even longer. And then if it's still something that we need or something that would be really useful, then I'll go ahead and make that purchase. And all these jars that I'm about to show you have been on that list for about two years, I think. So I'm thankful to finally have them. All right, so this is the kind that I got that I just showed you. This is, let's see, what size is it? This one is 57 ounces. So I think I got, I got eight of these ones. There were other ones that I wanted, like they were big rectangle ones with bamboo lids, but they were out of stock and I think even out of stock online. So that was unfortunate, but these should work. So I have a specific use for these in mind. Our baking cupboard needs some organization. And so that's what all of these canisters are for. So this size, I got eight of them. And then they just come with these lids. Actually, you have to buy the lids separately, but I really wanted the bamboo lids, but they were completely out of stock. So that was too bad, but it really doesn't make 
a difference. It was just for the look of it. We're just gonna go ahead and open up this. So this is the lid. It has the rubber seal that just seals the jar shut. And voila. And I'm really, really excited to put these to use. I also got a bigger size. I got four of these ones. So here they all are. You can see kind of the size comparison. This one is the 64, nope, 57 ounces. And then the big ones are 112 ounces. And I will just mention, I am planning to do a video of me reorganizing that cupboard. So stay tuned for that because I am planning to do that here in the next couple of weeks. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. Well, I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to use my code for a discount on my artwork. And I hope to see you in my next video.